One pro, and this really fits into um, something that is really being advocated or, for in veterinary medicine and also uh, starting to be advocated for in vet schools, and that's this concept of spectrum of care. That is not everyone is going to be able to afford what would be considered a gold standard treatment. And in order to facilitate treatment for heartworm, there may be situations where slow kill could actually, or savage procedure, may actually be um, the only choice just due to restricted resources. This also uh, would fit in situations where large number of dogs need to be treated um, in a short period of time and as such as a shelter situation. And if one had to treat 20 dogs in one day for heartworm using melarsamine, which while very safe, is still more labor intensive than uh, say administering a, a preventive and doxycycline. Because of that, um, it might be the right choice in those certain, certain large scale situations. However, I must say, as always, if melarsamine-based treatments can be used, that's what we're going to advocate for. We don't know when those worms are going to die, but when we use melarsamine-based treatments, we know that they are going to die in that very defined period uh, between injections and in a few weeks thereafter. Whereas with uh, slow kill, there have been a variety of studies, but knowing exactly when each worm dies, that variability in worm death means that they could die over months, whereas melarsamine, we know they're dying in weeks. And because they are dying uh, in weeks, we know specifically when to exercise restrict, and it's safer for the dog. The other part of this also is getting those worms out of there quicker is going to lessen um, the downstream pathology. The longer the worms are in there, the more damage there's going to be the, the vessels and potentially other organs of the body as heartworm gets worse and worse.